is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all and sweetest in the gale is heard and sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm I've heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea yet never in extremity it asked a crumb of me success is counted sweetest by those who near succeed to comprehend a nectar requires sorest need not one of all the purple host who took the flag today can tell the definition so clear a victory as he defeated dying on whose forbidden ear the distant strains of triumph burst agonized and clear I'm nobody. Who are you? Are you nobody too? Then there's a pair of us. Don't tell. They'd advertise, you know, how dreary to be. Somebody, how public, like a frog, to tell one's name, the livelong June, to an admiring bog. I felt a funeral in my brain, and mourners, to and fro, kept treading, treading, till it seemed that sense was breaking through, and when they all were seated, a service, like a drum, kept beating, beating, till I thought my mind was going numb. And then I heard them lift a box and creak across my soul with those same boots of lead again, then space began to toll as all the heavens were a bell and being but an ear and eye and silence, some strange race, wrecked, solitary here, and then a plank in reason broke and I dropped down and down and hit a world at every plunge and finished knowing. Then, there's a certain slant of light, winter afternoons, that oppresses like the heft of cathedral tunes. Heavenly hurt, it gives us. We can find no scar, but internal difference. Where the meanings are, none may teach it. Any, tis the seal despair, an imperial affliction, Sent us of the air. When it comes, the landscape listens. Shadows hold their breath. When it goes, tis like the distance on the look of death. Wild nights, wild nights, were I with thee. Wild nights should be our luxury. Futile, the winds to a heart and port, done with the compass, done with the chart. Rowing in Eden, ah, the sea, might I but moor tonight in thee. This is my letter to the world that never wrote to me the simple news that nature told with tender majesty. Her message is committed to hands I cannot see for love of her sweet countrymen judge tenderly of me. I dwell in possibility, a fairer house than prose, more numerous of windows, superior for doors, of chambers as the cedars, impregnable of eye and for an everlasting roof the gambrels of the sky, of visitors, the fairest for occupation. This, the spreading wide my narrow hands to gather paradise. I heard a fly buzz when I died. The stillness in the room was like the stillness in the air between the heaves of storm. The eyes around had wrung them dry and breaths were gathering firm for that last onset. When the king be witnessed, in the room I willed my keepsakes signed away, what portions of me be assignable, and then it was. There interposed a fly, with blue uncertain stumbling buzz between the light and me, and then the windows failed, and then I could not see to see. It was not death, for I stood up, and all the dead lie down. It was not night, for all the bells put out their tongues. For noon, it was not frost, for on my flesh I felt Sirocco's crawl, nor fire, for just my marble feet could keep a chancel cool. And yet it tasted, like them all, the figures I have seen, set orderly for burial, reminded me of mine. 
as if my life were shaven and fitted to a frame and could not breathe without a key and twas like midnight some when everything that ticked has stopped and space stares all around or grisly frosts first autumn morns repeal the beating ground but most like chaos stopless cool without a chance or spar or even a report of land to justify despair before I got my eye put out I liked as well to see as other creatures that have eyes and know no other way but were it told to me today that I might have the sky for mine I tell you that my heart would split for size of me the meadows mine the mountains mine all forests stintless stars as much of noon as I could take between my finite eyes the motions of the dipping birds the morning's amber road for mine to look at when I liked the news would strike me dead so safer guess with just my soul upon the window pane where other creatures put their eye incautious of the Sun after great pain a formal feeling comes the nerves sit ceremonious like tombs the stiff heart questions was it he that bore and yesterday or centuries before the feet mechanical go round a wooden way of ground or air or out regardless grown a court's contentment like a stone this is the hour of lead remembered if outlived as freezing persons recollect the snow first chill then stupor then the letting go because I could not stop for death he kindly stopped for me the carriage held but just ourselves and immortality we slowly drove he knew no haste and I had put away my labor and my leisure too for his civility we passed the school where children strove at recess in the ring we passed the fields of gazing grain we passed the setting Sun or rather he passed us the dews drew quivering and chill for only gossamer my gown my tippet only Tula we paused before a house that seemed a swelling of the ground the roof was scarcely visible the cornice in the ground since then tis centuries and yet feels shorter than the day I first surmised the horses heads were toward eternity My life had stood a loaded gun in corners till a day the owner passed identified and carried me away and now we roam in sovereign woods and now we hunt the doe and every time I speak for him the mountains straight reply and do I smile such cordial light upon the valley glow it is as a Vesuvian face had let its pleasure through and when at night our good day done I guard my master's head tis better than the eider ducks deep pillow to have shared to foe of his I'm deadly foe none stir the second time on whom I lay a yellow eye or an emphatic thumb though I than he may longer live he longer must than I for I have but the power to kill without the power to die tell all the truth but tell it slant success in circuit lease too bright for our infirm delight the truth superb surprise as lightning to the children Esid with explanation keened the truth must dazzle it gradually or every man be blind <laughs>